Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to add professional delay and echo to your vocals in Cakewalk by BandLab. So first, we need to add a delay bus. Click on the console tab to open the console window. On the left are the tracks, and on the right are the buses. Right mouse click on a blank bus slot, then tap on Insert Stereo Bus. If you can't see a blank slot, move the mouse cursor over the vertical bar to the left of the master bus so it turns into a double-headed arrow. Then press the left mouse button and drag left. Now double-click on the new bus name and type in delay. and press enter. Now in the channel strip pane, at the left side of the screen, click on the plus icon in the FX section of the delay bus strip. Now move the mouse cursor over insert audio effects. Then move the mouse cursor over Delay and click on Sonata's Delay. Now click on the Vocal Track header. Then click on the plus icon in the Send section on the Vocal Track in the Track Strip pane. And click on Delay on the pop-up menu. The delay is in Stereo, so it has settings for the Stereo left output and the same settings for the Stereo right output. Click on the drop-down list arrow below the word Factor. This drop list sets the speed of the echoes and are synced to the beat. The options at the top of the list are the fastest, creating a vocal doubling effect. Remember me, remember the rhyme. The options at the bottom of the list are the slowest, creating echoes with long delays. Remember me, remember me, remember the ride, remember the ride, remember the ride, remember the ride. You can also set left and right to different speeds to create a ping pong effect. Remember me, remember the ride. Move the feedback slider left to reduce the number of echoes.
Remember me. Or write to increase the number of echoes. Remember me. Remember me. Move the crossfeed slider right to increase the amount of echoes from each channel that is sent to the other channel to create more complex delay effects. Remember me. Or left to reduce the amount and create cleaner delay effects. Remember me. I recommend a setting of ten percent. Remember me. The mix slider sets the mix of the delay effect and the original vocals. For a delay bus, we want only the delay effect, so drag the slider all the way to the right. Remember me. Remember me. Finally, click on the X icon to close the delay effects window. Now that we have the most important delay settings sorted, let's go pro and control which parts of the vocals that are echoed. Press the left mouse button on the delay level knob and drag down the screen so the pop-up says delay send level equals minus infinite. This effectively turns off the delay. Now click on the expand icon on the vocal track. Then click on the filter button. Move the mouse cursor over automation. Then click on Delay Send Level. A line now appears over the vocal track recording. I just want the delay on the last word of each line of lyrics. And here I can see the waveform of the last word of the first line of lyrics. So click on the line three times to add three dots. Then drag the middle dot up the track so it creates a triangle over the last word. Remember me. If the echo is too loud, drag the middle dot down the screen to reduce the loudness of the echoes. Remember me. Remember the. Remember me. Remember the ride.
Remember me, me, me. Remember the ride. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.